Yama, Bianca Manning Nyaya, Gomoroi Yinar Nyaya. Hi everyone, thank you for marking National Reconciliation Week with your community. I'm the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Justice Coordinator for Common Grace, and today we pray that you will be inspired, equipped, and encouraged to continue the journey of pursuing Jesus, justice, reconciliation and healing alongside First Nations peoples. This year, we are exploring the concept of reconciliation through the cross. This was inspired by senior Aboriginal Christian leader, Dr. Auntie Jean Phillips, who has consistently proclaimed that it is only through the cross that we can come together to heal and see justice for Aboriginal peoples. At the end of this video, I'll be reading out a few quotes from Auntie Jean based on this theme. Over the past couple of months, I have been praying and discerning what God is doing in our nation post-referendum. Um, and as I did this, I kept seeing a picture of a tree in my mind that I would love to explain to you now. So after a bushfire rages through a eucalypt forest, when the trunks are blackened and the leaves have been burned to a crisp, a fascinating process of new life begins. Green shoots full of life begin to grow all over the trunk and branches. If you have ever witnessed this, I'm sure you are amazed at how new life could possibly emerge out of such a tragic and harmful situation. This phenomenon is sometimes called upside down trees with leaves growing on the trunks and branches, but an emptiness where the leaves would usually be. This reminds us of the upside down kingdom of God that our King Jesus leads us into, where death leads to life, beauty emerges from the ashes, suffering and mourning are turned into joy in his presence and hope always persists. It's now been well over six months since the voice referendum. Many Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples are still experiencing waves of grief, of rejection, exhaustion, and disappointment at the referendum result and the public dialogue that played out last year. In many ways, last year felt like a bushfire year, a difficult year of heat, of pain, of loss. Yet First Nations peoples are regrouping and showing incredible resilience. And many non-Indigenous Australians are committed and desiring to walk alongside Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples on this long journey of truth, justice and collective healing. The national theme for National Reconciliation Week, being now more than ever, speaks to the urgency of change that is needed in our communities. And as Christians, as we explore reconciliation through the cross, I believe this theme captures many of the concepts very important to this ongoing journey. It includes the need for consistent, deep listening and valuing of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander voices, the ministry of reconciliation that we carry as Christians, and finally, Jesus' call for us to take up our cross and follow him, imitating Christ's humility and sacrificial love. I will now read out some quotes by Dr. Auntie Jean Phillips and pray that her words will deeply challenge and inspire you. Auntie Jean says, but it is the cross that can bring true healing and true reconciliation into this nation. I believe there'll be no reconciliation until we come to the cross and look at this history. And as we do this, it can only happen as we come to the cross and come before our savior, because at the cross, there can be big changes in this nation. It is at the cross that we need to come and pray. I hope that you'll listen and learn and let us get to know each other and come together. And that's when true reconciliation will come. Thank you everyone for listening and engaging with National Reconciliation Week. To continue the journey, make sure that you are signed up with your email on the Common Grace website. 
And will you consider uh, attending or sending someone from your church to attend the Common Grace Conference, Let Justice Flow, in November 2024, where you'll be inspired, equipped and mobilised into action to advocate, particularly on issues of climate justice and raising the age of criminal responsibility. You can find out more at commongrace.org.au. Thank you so much. Bye.